Hey guys, it's Callie the Witch. I can't believe it's been a year already, but here we are, Rita and I, at the end of our creative journaling journey. This month's theme is Magic Carpet, and I hope you'll stick around as I show you how I interpreted this last month's entry from my dear sister, the gypsy, Miss Rita Marie. I hope you guys have hung with us and I hope to see more of you. We're going to continue our journey here as we move out of our journals and into new uncharted territories. So please stick around. I'll show you how I pulled this page together. I hope you like it. All right, here we go, guys. I still can't believe it, but this would normally be a double page spread for the last entry, but because of the way I bound the book initially, I actually have three surfaces to work on here, so I'm gonna go with it. And for those of you who have been around for a while, you know that initially I like to stall for time, and I often will just lay down paper and things like that to let my mind kind of wander. And I'm going to use this astrological calendar this time. This is a 2015 calendar I have, uh, Celestial Influences. There's a lot of just writing and maps and astrological signs. I'm just going to rip some pages up, moon tables, things like that. And I'll save some of the images but I'm just gonna rip these up and use my Americana decoupage and start gluing these down. So I'll get started with a couple and then I'll get back to you when the whole thing is done. I'm just randomly reaching in here and start to tear. will have to dry for a while too so again it'll give me a more time to really think out our theme which I'm excited about but I don't like to go into these with any preconceived ideas because I just don't I like to watch the page develop right along with you guys And our journey here is far from over, so stick around, join our group, The Gypsy and the Witch, on Facebook if you haven't yet. We have almost 200 people there now, and Rita and I are both really looking forward to the next step in our journey as we uh, continue here with you guys using different mediums, etc. So I'm going to stop rambling now. And I'm going to get to gluing. I'm going to do all three surfaces here with these strips. And when it's all nice and dry, I'll come back and show you what we got. Okay, so this is nice and dry now. It's been a couple of days, honestly. And it's going to fold still, no problem. So, yeah. Um, still not really sure where we're going here. And, you know, I can't get enough decoupage. So let's glue more stuff down. What do, what do you say? I got this really cool tissue paper recently and some happy mail from a dear sister and friend of mine, Cynthia. And I think it's just perfect. Of course it's perfect because it's purple and blues, my favorites. But check out the star shine in this. And I think for our magic carpet ride, we're going to have some enchanting background. So I'm going to kind of do the same thing, although I'm not going to cover the whole entire surface like I did with the calendar paper, but I'm just going to take some of my decoupage again. I have a paintbrush here ready to roll, and I'm going to randomly just put down some torn up strips and see where that takes us. And I just think this is gorgeous. Check it out. Hello. 
you know me. If it's purple, I love it. So we'll do some of that, and I'm just going to intersperse some of the blue as well. And we're going to cover the whole surface again. I may go over some of this when I'm done with um, a little bit of gesso. I'm not sure. See how the color turns out. I may just want to go in with some of my sprays or some acrylic paint. We'll let the page lead us where it wants to. So I'm just going to continue to do this, you guys. No, you know, pattern in sight here, kind of alternating between top and bottom, but other than that, just going to put them down. So I'll be back again when this is done, and I'll show you how that's looking. See you in a few minutes. Okay, so this is thoroughly dry. It's been a few days. I'm loving the way it looks. You can see the glitter and the tissue paper still sparkling. And I'm starting to get an idea of where I want to take this, but we'll see. For now, and you guys are looking at this upside down, but for now I'm going to treat this as a sky. So up here, which looks like your bottom, this will be the night sky, and then down here will be the ground, if you will. And almost like, um, and I'm not comparing myself, but kind of like Starry Night, I want to do some dark houses maybe or something and some kind of swirls and what I thought I would use rather than just go in with stencil again and stuff I have a big box of these oil pastels and I never use them so I thought I would draw with those again just kind of sketch out a rough shape you know like that mountain kind of thing um, and maybe some more just dark landscape, you know, down here. So use my oil pastels and I'm going to color and maybe do in some swirly kind of stuff. And then when I'm done with that, I want to go in with, I just, I don't have good watercolors. I just have, you know, student grade like Prang, I don't know. I don't know about watercolors, honestly, you guys. But this is what I have. This is a glitter set, and these are just regular ones. I thought I would paint over the oil pastels with the watercolor. And then, when that's dry, we'll probably collage on top of that. You know me. i got to have 12 layers. So I'm just going to sketch in these things, and I'll get back to you when that's done before I do the watercolor. See you in just a minute. Okay, I flipped this around so you could see it. I haven't gone in with a watercolor yet, and trust me, I'm no Van Gogh, but I'm obviously influenced by the painting here. These are just pastel, pastels that I used. I used black and these dark navy, and I've just kind of roughly colored out the shape. I don't know how well the watercolor is going to take over it, um, but I'm going to try, and I'll just do like blacks and dark blue. And I think I'm going to do the opposite on top here for the sky. And instead go in with some acrylic paint, and I just have a couple different ones. These two are from Folk Art in navy blue, and this is a metallic black. And I also have this one from Aileen's um, in a luster blue. So I'm going to lay some acrylic down here for the sky and probably leave this whole pathway here open. Um, and then over the acrylic, once that dries, I'll let all this dry overnight. Over the acrylic, then I'm going to come back in with some more pastels on top. That's what I think now. We'll see what really happens. But So I'm going to do the watercolor now here and the acrylic paint here, and I'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, I finished with the watercolor, and I flipped it around so you guys could see it better. I don't know if I'm happy with it's not as opaque as I would like, which I kind of thought. So I may go over this. It was an experiment, you know. I may go over this with acrylic paint. 
Um, I didn't do the sky, obviously, and I told you I'm going to use those other acrylic paints. It bled a little, but I'm okay with that. I like that. So I just wanted to show you where I'm at. I'm going to do the sky next and then let it all dry. I'll show you when that's done. And then I'm going to go back in over everything with more of the oil pastels again. And while this is drying, I may sketch out, obviously our focal point is going to be the magic carpet. Um, so I'm going to sketch out a magic carpet and we're going to incorporate it. I actually thought of maybe, well, we'll see. I'm thinking. So that's what I'll be doing tonight while the paint's drying. I'll see you back here when the sky is done. Okay, so I'm finished with the acrylic paint for now and I'm going to let this dry. Uh, let's see. I did what I told you. I did a mixture of this navy and this metallic black for the top, which I'm considering to be the sky right now. And I went through it with the back of a paintbrush and just did some swirls in it all the way across. And then look what popped up over here. I wound up going in just with the black and outlining the this kind of rock formation over here right and then over here mysteriously appeared this little castle in the distance so I also added some swipes of acrylic paint to the bottom and you know we'll be bringing this out with more doodling and things like that but for now I'm happy with this as a background um, I'm gonna let this dry overnight and then like I said, tonight, I'm just going to take a piece of mixed media paper, I think, uh, I think, <laughs> and sketch out a carpet. And actually, we're going to be flying our carpet through the landscape here. So that's where my mind is right now. I'm going to let this marinate overnight, and I'll see you back here tomorrow and see where it's going to take us. Okay, while the paint's drying, I figured I'd get started on the carpet. All I did was take a scrap piece of this mixed media paper by Canson and I sketched out a carpet shape. Simple as that, you guys, just with a pencil. And I'm going to use this scrap piece of cardboard and a little bit of good old Aliens Tacky Glue. We're going to glue it to the cardboard and then I'm going to cut it out and we will further embellish it from there. So I'll show you when that's done. So good morning. This is nice and dry. I hope you're seeing it okay. And I showed you that I drew out the magic carpet. This is dry too. I glued it to the cardboard. And my idea is to try to lift this off the page. And I thought that I might even take some wire and do a spiral behind this or something to just kind of elevate it a little bit so it actually looks like it's flying. That's one idea. And also to decorate this, I'm going to stray away from the paint right now and I have some fabric scraps. Um, just various pieces of silk and things like that. And I thought that I would decorate the carpet with the fabric scraps and just incorporate some of these little patterns maybe so to actually make you know carpet so it I'll use like Mod Podge or something to do that um, or maybe the tacky glue not sure and that's the idea for that and then as far as who's going to be riding on top of the carpet I thought at first to leave it blank I went back and forth. Um, I was going to use the original headshots of the Gypsy and the Witch that Rita had done. I just, I didn't, I was going to draw out a Gypsy and a Witch. And then honestly, I kind of took an easy way out this morning, you guys, and I Googled some free clip art images. And I'm going to um, incorporate these onto the carpet. So to represent uh, Miss Rita and I, the perspective is a little off, but I think with, if I can angle it, it'll work. And then other plans for the page. I told you that I'll go in uh, with some of my 
pastels here. Whoa. Right? And just kind of highlight out, you know, the hill and add a little more detail to this castle over here. Kind of smudge out. I'm not liking this heavy line between the purple and the dark blue here. Although I really like the way that the um, it, that it's shining through with those marks that I made with the pen uh, with the back of the paintbrush. So that's my plan for there. And I may also incorporate. I have another piece of fabric here with uh, stars and things on it. And I thought that I might incorporate not all of this. I'm not going to cover this up, but maybe just some strips of this throughout the top. So, yeah, I'm not really going to be filming all of that, but I'll come back to you when I've assembled the carpet and show you how it's going. And thank you for sticking around, you guys, through my filming issues, etc., um, working on it. So, yeah, I'll see you back here when the carpet's done and give you an update. I'm having fun with this now. It's taken off. Okay, so I'm back with a little update on the carpet. Uh, yeah, this is where we are for right now. And I've made this little double-ended coil out of a piece of wire. And I'm going to try to use some E6000 and glue it down. And this will flex, so she'll still be able to close the book. But I want to glue one part on the back of the carpet and this bottom part to here or wherever I'm going to put it. So it'll just lift it a little bit off the page. All right. It won't be able to move, but it'll just actually make it come right off the page if it works. Now, that's my plan. <laughs> Uh, what I did, I just took some of this purple silk that I have. I should have just used the tacky glue. Instead, I got the bright idea to use this Pro Stick textile spray. Uh, I used too much, and it's still on my hands. I think I'm going to have to use some acetone just to get it off. It was way too sticky. It came up through the fabric, you can kind of see. But... I'm going to leave it there because, you know, we all get a little beat up in life. So I did that, and then I experimented with gluing down some... I didn't ex glue them, but I was going to add some more of this kind of fabric down, and then eh, I went back and forth. I finally went over to my stencils and pulled out... I have this DecoArt Patio Paint Home and Garden stencil, and I used this one right here. And I like these a lot, actually. They're, you know, sticky kind of. So I just use that there, and I use some of my Decor Elegant Finish Metallic Paint. This one's in Glorious Gold. And I used a little makeup sponge, and I just kind of dabbed on the design. I really like that design, and I may incorporate it somehow in the page. I also pulled out... I've never used this. I got this at a garage sale. It's a little mini brass stencil, and that's got a pretty design, too. So I may use that as a border. Also, with some of this gold, I just like how it's looking. Very Arabian Nights, you know? I wish I had some gold trim. I really wanted to hang some tassels off the end of this or fringe, but I don't, and I'm not going to fret about it. Um... It is what it is, but that's kind of where my, my brain went. I may embellish more on the carpet. We'll see once I get the girls cut out and put on there, um, which I haven't even touched them yet. So I'll probably layer them on some cardboard as well and then just see if we can't play around with placement. I'm going to do all that before I glue the little spring on there. So that's just where we are. I haven't done any more of the shading on the on the castle or the sky or anything. I just wanted to give you an update on the carpet. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, so I'm back with another update. We're almost done here. Um, I've added a lot of texture. And you can see I did do a border. 
I didn't use that little brass stencil. Instead, I came in with this one. It's just a um, border stencil, and I use that gold elegant finish paint. I really like how that looks. I also went in, um, you can see around here, I used this round stamp and some white stays on. I also did some white splatters with my uh, DecoArt Media Mister in white. It's a shimmer mister. Or some stars. I did some more acrylic painting over this tower kind of thing. Added a little more detail to the castle. Added some brown to the hill. Um, I'm still not done with the castle. I did a little moon up here, which I'll do a little more detail with. As far as the carpet goes, I added kind of, I just drew in, I don't know how well you can see that, but I added some fringe on either side, and I also drew a border. I just used this gold gel pen. Um, I glued the graphics onto some cardboard, and I added a witch's hat for our witch, and our little gypsy is going to hang out here, something like that. I've decided not to do the metal spiral. Instead, I'm going to use a piece of cardboard. And I just made a little spring here. I'll probably color that. And we're going to glue that down and put that on the back. So that'll give it, you know, a little height and dimension. But Rita will be able to close the book. So we're going to do that. And then... I'm just going to do some detail work with my pens, you guys. I have a white signal ball pen, this gold gel pen, and this uh, pilot silver marker. So I'll probably add some more detail to the castle and the moon and stuff. And that's going to be it. So I'll see you back here when this is all pulled together. And I'm really liking how this is turning out. See you in a few minutes. I'm going to call this complete, you guys. What do you think? I love how this turned out. I hope Rita loves it as much as I do. We got some good movement on our carpet. I just, I can't believe we're at the end of this journey. But at the end of every journey is the beginning of a new one. And Rita and I will continue to join you guys each month at our group, The Gypsy and the Witch. We'll continue to bring magical themes for your interpretation. And I really look forward to our new adventures. This has been amazing. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please check out all the links below. Make sure you check out Rita's video that she did for this month, as well as all our other friends over at The Gypsy and the Witch. I love you guys so much. I will be doing a flip through of the 12 months very soon and then I'll be packaging up this journal and sending it across the country to my sister. So I love you guys very much. I hope you like this as much as I did. Blessed be and see you on the magic carpet.